What made you come to this decision at this point? So, you know, 30 years in the police department, it's been a, it's been a long journey. It's almost the end of the road for the NYPD's highest ranking uniformed officer, Chief of Department Rodney Harrison. It's a little bittersweet. I'm, I'm looking forward to my afterlife, but uh, I'm going to miss the NYPD and the men and women that do this, this God's work every single day. Harrison started his career with the department in 1991, and over the years, he rose through the ranks. During the city's war on drugs in the 90s, while undercover, Harrison was shot by a drug dealer. For his work and bravery, he earned the department's combat cross. In 2018, Harrison became chief of patrol. The following year, he made history as the city's first African-American chief of detectives. We caught up with the chief along the parade route. What is the legacy? Uh, listen, the legacy is just to make sure you do it right. You know, uh, there's a lot of things that... Uh, on the NYPD that, you know, we could do better in. And it was Harrison's leadership that helped the department implement neighborhood policing. And to this day, that tool has strengthened the relationship between police and the community. What are you most proud of? Yeah. So uh, the partnerships, um, the partnerships that uh, I've been able to build with the, the different communities throughout the city. I've had an opportunity to work in every single borough. Harrison was also at the helm during one of the most violent years the city has seen in decades. Also some of the darkest times. The unrest and riots in the city after the death of George Floyd in the middle of the pandemic. In a statement, Police Commissioner Dermot Shea said, he has performed in every rank from patrol officer to undercover officer, displaying tremendous valor to chief of department with knowledge, skill, integrity, and a great passion for our continuing mission to always protect life and property and to build lasting relationships with those we serve. We will miss him, but we wish him well. We've done a lot of great things uh, trying to make this a safer city. Uh, I'm in a great place, but I'm able to pass the torch to my my beautiful daughter's here, and uh, it's time for me to, to, to start enjoying life. Happy Thanksgiving. Two of the chief's daughters are currently rookie cops. They're not only proud of their father's work, but they also hope to follow in his footsteps. Any idea what are you going to do next? I'm going to relax for a little bit. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure God has a plan for me. We'll see what happens. Chief Harrison will stay on with the department until the end of the year. It's unclear who will replace him at that point. And sources are telling us this isn't the last time we'll see Harrison in law enforcement in a leadership role. You just have to wait and see where he ends up.